So just when I thought I was done covering the Xbox series and emulation with Dolphin UWP, a new announcement happened yesterday on Saturday the 4th of February out of nowhere that Xenia, the Xbox 360 emulator, is now available as a UWP app. And this work was done once again by the work of Sir Mangler and Reverie. And this is a very, very exciting release. Now, for those people that are kind of new to this or just kind of heard about this story and are trying to figure out why this is so important. Well, let's kind of talk about this in some detail. Yes, the Xbox has a very, very good backward compatibility layer. And yes, you can bring quite a few Xbox 360 games over to the Xbox One and series units. However, it doesn't cover the entire spectrum of releases. And furthermore, we have just seen that Microsoft is kind of in the process now of starting to delist some games from their Xbox 360 storefront. So what this means is eventually we're going to see the closure of the Xbox 360 store. There was pretty much a backpedal from Microsoft last week suggesting that the closure of the storefront for the Xbox 360 was in error. But this is one of those situations where I feel like it's only inevitable where the storefront will eventually be sunset. So. This is why emulation is so important and this is why Xenia is such a very, very interesting and cool announcement for the Xbox series. So as it stands today, the version of Xenia that you can download, the 0.1 version is, like I said, probably more of a passing curiosity, a vertical slice, a proof of concept. What is here is quite impressive so far. Now, the first thing that I tried when I set this up was to run GoldenEye 007 XBLA. And as you can see here, it runs very, very well. I will say that the frame rates are still probably not at full speed. There's very good performance here. But unfortunately, when you kind of go through the game itself, it ends up crashing. And this is one of the areas of this particular release that I do want to kind of illustrate. It's a very early release. It's a 0.1 release. I would consider this more of a proof of concept slash vertical slice than anything else. There are lots of bugs and there are lots of crashes, but this is something that the team is aware of and they will address in a future update. So this is a last minute edit to this video. I was just informed that there was an updated configuration file that can be applied to the existing 0.1 version of Xenia UWP, which does help with a lot of the stability of the version 0.1 release. And when I tested this out, indeed, the compatibility is much improved. As you can see here, there are multiple games that weren't working on the 0.1 release, for example, games such as Lollipop Chainsaw, which now are playable, at least for the couple of minutes that I tested out, as well as the Lost Odyssey, that's also going into game as well. So as you can see here, things are a lot more improved. This also addresses the issue with GoldenEye 007, where there is a crash kind of later on in the dam level when there is an explosion or when you attempt to shoot the lock off the fence. So this already is a very, very nice next step. Now, this is not the kind of official fix for what they're doing. I believe this is really more of a stopgap at the moment just to get the games that are supposed to be working playable once again. But in my experience, even with testing this configuration fix that's just come out, does still illustrate there is a lot of work to be done here. There's still many games that have stuttering issues, I'm assuming due to shader compilation and things like that, which will get addressed. But you know, this is a really cool next step. So to install Xenia UWP, it's the same method as any other UWP app on the Xbox. And once you have that, when you launch into it, you'll notice that you have the same kind of bare bones interface that you did on the original version of Dolphin. And that is Basically, just select the game that you want to play and hopefully it will run. Now, a couple of things that I want to mention here, if you're trying to run Xenia on your Xbox, there are a lot of .iso images that are out there. And when you extract and rip your games from your Xbox yourself, you're probably going to end up with a .iso image. Unfortunately, at least for this particular version, .iso images are not supported. So what that means is you have to extract the entire package or the entire ISO image into its kind of separate files. And the file that the emulator is currently looking for 
is a .xex, which is an Xbox executable. And if you know anything about the Xbox 360, you know that the default .xex is the kind of launch executable that starts the game. So essentially you have to extract an .iso file into its individual files and folders and launch the default .xex and you should be good to go. Now, the second part is if you're wanting to play digital downloads that were on the Xbox Live Arcade, for example, you can simply provide the package or the GOD package or the God package for that to run and that will launch automatically as well. So these are the two ways that I've found that you can get games to run. Unfortunately, like I said, at the moment, .iso images or just DVD images are not supported, but I'm Sure, that will change going forward. Now, as far as ripping Xbox 360 games, that's out of scope for this video. But with a modded Xbox 360, and this is something that I've definitely talked about on the channel in the past, you can get pretty much access to your entire library of games, including both digital and physical releases. You can also rip games directly to your hard drive, either as .iso images, a games on demand package, as well as just the standalone file system files, which includes the default.xex that we talked about previously. Now, the second thing that I want to talk about is performance. As you can see here, GoldenEye 007 runs quite well. And I also tested a couple of other games as well. And performance, while it's not perfect, it is very, very good. This is a lot better than I kind of expected, to be quite honest with you, because Xenia is fairly demanding as far as what, it's, what it needs in terms of hardware to run quite well. Now this GoldenEye 007, you can see there are definitely some slowdowns here and there. So performance is, you know, can be improved, but overall this is very, very promising. And look, at the end of the day, we're running GoldenEye 007 on our Xbox. And this is something that many, many of us wanted to see from an official capacity, but unfortunately did not happen. So of course we leave it up to the homebrew community to step in and basically make that happen for us. And that is an amazing thing. Now, the biggest thing that I wanna talk about with this release so far is that it's very, very buggy. It crashes a lot. Many, many games will start, but they simply just crash out. And as I've been testing different games and different things, I found that the compatibility is quite low at this point. And this simply has to do with some known issues that have been documented on Sir Mangler's GitHub page. So this is not anything that I would be too concerned about now. In fact, I think the team probably just wanted to make this announcement, especially while GoldenEye 007 is such a hot topic at the moment. But look, Xenia is here. At the moment, I would probably say don't bother with downloading it and installing it because the overall compatibility is pretty low. Most games that I threw at it would start, but they just kind of crashed out at some point. And this is not the fault of the kind of mainline Xenia code base. This is simply the developers just figuring out uh, the UWP aspect of the emulation and trying to make it work. So I do expect things to improve. And look, once again, what can I say? You know, this community, this UWP community that's making these Xbox emulators is giving me shades of 2001, 2002 when all the way back the OG Xbox days where you know we were making emulators and homebrew, there's a very, very similar vibe here. And uh, look, I'm not someone that's involved in this as someone that's actually making this stuff, but I'm very much an interested party in this and I definitely wanna see where things go. Look, I think Xenia is going to improve and we're going to continue to cover this on the channel as things progress because what we have here is a very, very good start and things can only get better from here. This is truly the way that you can preserve your game library. You can truly rip all your games, have them available and play them on emulation without worrying about the game being delisted or being removed due to licensing issues or never returning or not being part of the backward compatibility program. This is something that's truly preserving your game library and will always be able to do that. And the good news is, that you can easily rip your Xbox 360 games. You can easily get access to your Xbox Live Arcade catalog, and you can easily do all those things with a modded Xbox 360. And this is something that I definitely recommend people take a look at as well. If you are thinking about, you know, bringing your back catalog of games forward to the Xbox via Xenia, 
then you should do yourself a favor and take a look at how to rip your old games and make them available to the emulation on Xenia. I'm uh, continuing to cover this stuff because this is definitely in my wheelhouse. I know a lot of people wanted me to talk about this as well. And look, I'm very, very excited about this. We're going to continue to see Xenia improve. And look, who knows? It may give the backward compatibility stuff a big run for its money over time. So we are going to continue to cover Xenia running on the Xbox. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. We're going to leave it here for now. If you like this episode, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.